Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Pluto here with another nigga tut on how to uh, do the rotating text on the 3D motion track as I show right here. See how it's falling back into place, rotating back in place. So let's get started. Now I'm saying open up Cinema 4D. You have all your motion track stuff uh, completed, and now you're ready to do the rotating text. Um, so you go to your Motex and you press C on your keypad. So just make it editable so you can uh, edit the uh, letters individually. So you want to collapse the uh, boxes until you have uh, you know, both of your names right here highlighted. And you go to the very end of your motion track or wherever you want the uh, rotating text to stop. Then you go down to the bottom letter of the word, hold shift and click on the first letter of the uh, word of the motion track and this will highlight all of the um, both letters so now you make sure you have your rotating keyframe I mean your rotate tool selected and you want to click on this little arrow or this key button here for the keyframe okay and now you want to uh, go to where you want the uh, text to begin at which um, which I will have it start about before the camera sees it, so right here, so I see all the words. So now you want to go to each letter individually and rotate it to your desired needs. Needs. And after each time you rotate it, click on the uh, keyframe button every single time you rotate the text. Boom. I rotate some more. Boom. Rotate some more. Boom. And you keep going until you have all your words, all the letters you want rotated. And wow, let me see, almost done, so. And yeah, basically this is it, guys. This is all you have to do, it's pretty simple. But if you have any more questions, just hit me up on Skype, uh, it's in my description. And you see right here, see how it's coming back together. Oh, and if you want to uh, adjust the keyframes, um, all you have to do is go to uh, the letter, let's see. Go to the letter and just slot the keyframe always. This keyframe is a little blue line on the timeline. And you can adjust it that way. So basically basically guys, that's all you need. That's pretty much how you do it. So yeah, leave a like, comment, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe for some more. Peace.